Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese. And I thought I would do a short little framing video today. How many of you have diamond paintings just lying around your house and they have no frame? You don't know really what you want to do with them. There are so many easy ways that you can frame these. Um, and one of the easiest ways that I have found one, there are lots of different ways, but anyway, I finished this. This is a round. Beautiful sparkles in that. Anyway, I love cottage scenes, so I wanted to do more than just mount it on uh, a board. So what I did was I cut the edges all the way around the seam. No white edges left. And when you do that and you mount it on like a poster board you cut the poster board I use the back of this frame I put it on top cut around it I've already put tape on there so you don't have to wait for me to put tape on it um, I cut around this so that it will fit into the frame that I have sitting over here I purchased the frame from Walmart for eight dollars and twenty two cents I got a large sheet of poster board for 69 cents. No, maybe it was 96 cents I got. But this only took a part of it. So I can use it for another diamond painting or whatever else I want to use it for. So all I need to do is to lie this onto this blue background. And that's going to serve as a border for it so that this is going to fit into the frame. You don't have to worry about putting tape around it um, and making sure it's safe, uh, straight against the diamonds. I do that sometimes also. There's so many different ways you can do this, but I'm going to just set this down and I'm going to kind of eyeball the thing straight. It's easy to pull it up and up and off when you have it on there with those strips down there. So, let's see. That looks pretty good, I think. One thing I do after, before I frame, is I use a toothbrush to clean off any of the dirty places. And I also get a rolling pin to set the beads. I also will put something heavy on top of these for a few days or I sometimes even put it under my mattress where I'm sleeping. I get maybe sheets of cardboard or whatever and just lay on it for a few days. But something this small, it, it it's pretty easy. If you left it like this and decide I'm going to hang it like this, I would suggest that you use a sealant on this for the rounds just to keep the dirt from getting in those spaces because it's still sticky that's one reason I like to use a glass over the top this does have glass in it so all I have to do is take my piece of cardboard with my diamond painting on it put it in there then I take the backing, and this one has little hooks, so you can hang it on the wall using that. But I usually use command strips. They look like this. I just pull them off, put them in the corners of my frame, and hang it on the wall. And you can keep your walls from having holes and any damage to your paint or whatever. So I'll put this down in here and we're just going to close it up. Very easy. This one's just got little push tabs that you push down. I chose, um, it's kind of a, I don't know, driftwood looking colored frame because I thought it would kind of match the scene of the cottage. 
um, to the tape that I use to stick it to the cardboard or the poster board is the X Fasten double sided tape. I ordered this off of Amazon. Any kind of double sided tape is going to work. You just want it to get it on there. If it doesn't look like it's straight, you can always take it out and redo it. Let me put you up like this so I can hold this out for you to see a little bit better. I thought the blue looked lovely with the flowers, just blue flowers, and um, in the picture, and I thought it picked up those blues very nicely. But this was so easy. Very inexpensive, easy to do, no special tools needed, just your scissors, some tape, and any inexpensive frame that you can find. I know you can go to some other stores that have frames that are inexpensive. When you put it on a piece of cardboard or poster board like this, you don't have to worry about the size of your diamond painting to match to your frame. You just are going to cut this to mat, um, to fit into your frame and then that's just going to offset it and make it look really pretty. So this is just very easy to do and if you got a diamond painting sitting around and you don't know what to do with it, hey, give this a go. You might like it. Anyway, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to be a subscriber. And click the bell so you don't miss any other videos. If you have anything special you would like me to show, please leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. I love the cottage scene so much. Anyway, you have a blessed day. Take care, and I love you guys. Bye.